Singapore's former cabinet minister, Professor S. Jayakuma, who served in the cabinet for 27 years, said, Mr. Lee could be persistent, but was always intellectually honest. It was he who pushed for the creation of an elected presidency and to have non-constituency MPs in parliament. As the state vehicular procession slowly makes its way into the driveway of Parliament House, Singaporeans waiting patiently just outside the entrance to offer their respects. At Parliament House, eight pallbearers represent the three branches of Singapore government, the executive, legislative and the judiciary. Representing the legislature are two members of the Parliament Secretariat. First, Mr. A. Palenepen, who has provided simultaneous translation for Parliament since Mr. Lee's days as Prime Minister. Second, Ms. Aoyong Chuen Song, from the Official Reports Department, which compiles verbatim records of parliamentary proceedings. Representing the executive are three public servants. Mr. Benny Lim, concurrently Permanent Secretary of National Development and the Prime Minister's office. Mr. Aaron Maniam, Director, the Ministry of Trade and Industry. And Mr. Stanley Tan Singh Chuan, a Senior Constituency Manager with the Bonavista Constituency Office. And representing the judiciary are Mr. C. Ki Un, presiding judge of the State Courts of Singapore and a judicial commissioner of the Supreme Court, Madam Masayu Norashikin, a district judge of the Family Justice Courts, and Miss Marina Wang Meng Si, a Mandarin interpreter at the Supreme Court. 